Solar energy supporters say they're excited about this project for a number of reasons, but the headline is its massive size. So I believe the Gemini project will be three times that size. I'm Gemini's not... the name and sheer size is its game. An 11 square mile sun soaking monster set to be the largest solar facility in the country. And according to solar expert Guy Snow, that's not even its party trick. You know, we need the energy at night. Especially in a place known as the city that never sleeps. Up until this point, that's been one of the big criticisms of solar. It works great on a bright sunny day, not so much when the sun goes down. Well, this is going to give us that capability of, of making that energy, storing it and releasing it at night. Here's the idea. It's a beautiful sunny day. The solar array turns that nice sunshine into energy for us to use, but stores the leftover power in massive batteries. They can have Gemini release that power from their battery storage on a button push and dump that energy onto our grid. That means you can tap into the energy supply even when it's dark or cloudy or the power goes out. It can also be funneled to people who've never had access to solar before. Let's say you're living in an apartment or someplace where you can't have solar, or let's just say you don't want to install solar on the house you're living in now. You can actually go in there and check a little box um, and have uh, the green initiative where then your power will be coming from solar. MV Energy is already set to tap into that power supply in this project. It's not without some controversy, though, mainly the environmental impact of building such a large array. But the Bureau of Land Management is open to public comment through September 5th, so about two more weeks of that. If Project Gemini gets the final stamp of approval, Snow says it should start producing some power in 2020. Live in the newsroom, Christopher Redfern, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.